Imagine this. In the thick of battle, you hear only a faint buzz. That isn't a mosquito. It's the world's tiniest reconnaissance drone. At just 13 millimeters long, it fits comfortably between two fingertips. Stay with me now, we're about to peel back every layer of this marvel. The micro drone was built by China's National University of Defense Technology, NUDT, in Hunan. But what secrets lurk inside that wafer-thin metal shell? A rod-shaped fuselage of titanium-aluminium alloy keeps the frame rigid, yet feather-light. The laboratory prototype is reported to weigh less than half a gram. Its matte skin scatters light so that in infrared, it merely glows like the background. On a thermal display, it is almost the same temperature as its surroundings. Two leaf-shaped wings replicate the vein pattern of insects. Each wing, driven by a piezoelectric actuator, flutters up to 120 times per second. That vibration spins a tiny vortex and generates lift. The result? Flight at under 30 decibels, virtually inaudible to the human ear. Three hair-fine carbon fiber legs let the drone perch on a leaf or wall. A pressure sensor in each foot cuts the wing motor the instant it touches down. It can stick motionless for hours, eavesdropping in silence. Perching Slash's battery draw by roughly one-third. A 9-bit RISC processor, etched on MEMS technology, handles minimal onboard tasks. 12 kilobytes of flash store the flight guidance table. Core intelligence lives on the ground station to keep the payload light. The drone merely returns raw data over an AES-128 encrypted link. Up front sits a 300 by 300 pixel CMOS sensor. Low resolution, yes, but enough to spot a person or a weapon. A fisheye lens gives a 160 degree field. With one yaw, the drone scans the entire scene. In dim light, a shortwave infrared LED turns on, yielding a usable grayscale image. A MEMS microphone covers 20 hertz to 12 kilohertz capturing voices or keyboard clicks from two meters away. Noise reduction on the ground filters out the wing beat. Compressed audio streams back at 8K-bit S1. A 20 milliamp hour lithium polymer cell wrapped in graphene powers the craft. It sustains seven minutes of continuous flight or up to two hours of perched listening. An inductive magnetic port recharges the pack without opening the shell. A full top-up takes under 6 minutes at 100 milliamps. A 2.4 gigahertz transceiver teams with an L-band radio as backup. Line of sight range is about 50 meters outdoors and 20 meters indoors. If the link drops, the drone auto lands on the nearest surface, preventing an uncontrolled crash an unwanted discovery. A three-axis MEMS gyro senses up to 250 degrees per second. A barometric sensor measures altitude to within 10 centimeters. GPS cannot fit, so computer vision plus the ground station provide coordinates. Flights are strictly line of sight to avoid anti-drone regulations. A nanosilica coating makes the wings hydrophobic. Drop rain tests with two millimeter droplets cause no harm. Operating temperature spans zero to 45 degrees Celsius. Winds above 12 kilometers per hour can upset stability. Every component must stay below 0.2 millimeters thick. The tiniest power management chip already fills 40% of the body volume. Wing vibration may fatigue the circuitry over time, so each unit is designed as a short mission disposable asset. The prototype is flown with an Android app. The UI shows live signal bars, battery level, and camera heading. For security, the Bluetooth link uses no fixed pin. Pairing works only via QR code. After each mission, the device's encryption key is burned. Primary missions, probing command posts or rapid urban patrols, 
The drone slips through a half-open window, perches on a wardrobe and listens. Real-time data can refine a mortar strike or a cyber attack down to the meter. Above all, its presence is almost impossible to detect. Norway's Black Hornet 4 is 16 centimeters long and flies for 20 minutes. By contrast, the NUDT Mosquito is roughly 12 times smaller. Its payload can't host a 4K camera or laser designator, so its forte is close-range listening and surveillance, not targeting. Tiny size cuts anti-drone reaction time to mere milliseconds. Millimeter wave radar often gets too little return. Counter UAS lasers aren't tuned for targets under one gram, so the first line of defense human eyesight simply fails. Acoustic detection of a metal wing versus an insect wing might work. Some labs are training algorithms on the distinctive buzz of piezo wings. A microphone array could flag an unnatural hum, but in a cluttered battle space, that's easier said than done. In medicine, a sterile version could image blood vessels from inside. In precision agriculture, it might slip under rice canopies to count pests. In search and rescue, it could crawl through rubble, listening for heartbeats. Once again, military tech opens doors to civilian innovation. Sub 250 gram drones often skirt aviation rules, yet unlicensed audiovisual spying is still illegal. The international community has no standard for nano drones. A swarm of these mosquitoes could magnify privacy concerns overnight. For now, only lab prototypes have been shown on a test bench. Mass production will require fully automated micron scale assembly. Each unit currently costs about $250 in materials. Series production could push the operational price below $90. Give every squad dozens of mosquitoes and enemy maps become real time. But data overload risks information paralysis. Commanders will need instant filters to avoid drowning in feeds. A smart nano drone therefore demands equally smart field AI. Place a fine electronic mesh on the ceiling, train algorithms to distinguish insect and metal wing patterns, fire a low power pulsed laser to singe the wing, and the eternal sword and shield duel resumes at millimeter scale. The NUDT Mosquito is a showcase for weapon miniaturization. Battery, processing, and comms hurdles aren't fully solved, but the roadmap is clear. More than a threat, this drone is a wake-up call for the next era of surveillance. The question is, how much harder will it be to guard humanity's eyes and ears? If you don't want to miss tomorrow's microscopic battlefield, hit subscribe. Our upcoming videos dissect Norway's Black Hornet and Harvard's Robo B. Tell us, will technology or legislation evolve faster? Drop a comment below and don't forget to ring the bell.